Hello everyone, I'm here going to show you how to create a mail merge document. The first thing that you have to know is that when you create a mail merge, you have to understand that you are creating a letter that will go to many people. The same letter that you create will be sent to more than one person. So the first thing that you need to do or to, to remember is that you need to create a recipient list, a list of people who will receive what you are creating, a letter or a notice. So we are going to create a letter in the form of a table. Um, the first thing actually that we are creating is a table that will contain the list of receivers. So it's not a letter. It's a table that contains a list of recipients. Then we are going to go to insert and create a table. Here I'm just going to use an example of creating a, a letter that will go to three people. So I've created a table here that I'm going to have then three column headings. It's going to be name, then it's going to be say name, and it's going to be amount. And I'm just creating an example of sending a letter to all the people who should pay a certain amount by which date. For instance, if maybe you are having a database of customers who are owing money and you want them to pay their account by a certain date, obviously they will be owing different types of amounts and so on. So that's why we need a database. In this format, it will be like a table where we are going to store all their records so that when we type a letter, the letter will have to put the relevant information for the relevant person. So an example that I'm going to do, I'm going to type all the names now and then I'm going to create all the information in this table. So what happened now? When you create a table on Microsoft Word, you just have to look at the columns that you will need, how many columns you will need. So in this case, I needed only three columns. You can see it's column four, customer name, column four, customer surname, and column four amount. So you, you will be creative in terms of what you are creating at that moment. If maybe you are creating a column for or a table that will contain information about events you will have to look at the columns that are given to you and you will be creating a table according to those specific columns so in this case because it's an example i'm just creating three columns so that you'll understand how mail merge or a mailing document works so i even included three people in my table which is john you can see steve and Joseph so these are the three people who will receive the letter that the letter that I'm going to create not long now after creating a data source 
or a list of recipients like this you have to save this table as it is you don't move it or drag it or put it anywhere save it and close the document but remember the name that you saved with and the location that you're going to save because you're going to retrieve this from or using the dialog box when you are creating a letter on the new document so i'm going to save this one and close the document I'm saving I'm saving this as data you can see I'm saving it as data the name so that I will remember it and then I'm saving it in my pictures because I want to remember where I've saved it okay you you have to know the place where you are saving it and what name you gave to it because you won't open it again then I click Save Now you can see on top there its data is the name of my document it has been saved I'm going to close the document now the document that I was creating it was just a list of people who will receive the letter that I'm going to type now so now I'm going to go and retrieve I mean or create a new document which is going to be my letter which is a primary letter that will be typed only once but it will generate how many like a number of times according to the number of people I have in my data source so I'm going I'm going to create a new document now now this is a new document it's no longer that one of a data source that one i said we we create it we save and we close we are not going to open it again but we are going to type a letter here and we are going to link it with the data source using the tools that we see up there i will show you which tool we are going to open first thing that we do now we type the letter now please note here i said dear please pay your amount off by looking at this letter you can see that it's a it's a letter that is not complete because after dear it's a salutation we should have the recipient's name or a title dear mister and then we write something else but here because it's coming the, the details will be coming from the data source I won't write the name here they will be linked to the table and the name will just appear here so what do I do after writing dear because I know here there must be a name linked to the data source I will put the cursor after dear open a space with a space bar you go to mailings up there Now here under mailings we need this tool of insert match field but it's not active you can see it's not active so it's because this document doesn't know that table we created before we opened this document so I need to link that table with this document so that this insert match field where we are going to get the names that we have used in the data source for it to work 
we have to make sure that we link it with the table. So for, 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 for linking it with the table, we have to start on the left hand side. There you see where it says select recipients. Recipients are the receivers of this letter. So I'm going to click it now. Now, because the list is already typed, I can't say type a new list. I have to go to use existing list. After clicking here, it opens a dialog box where I have to remember the place where I have saved the data source or the list of recipients. So I remember where I've saved it and I remember its name. So I will just go and open it. Now, after following all the steps that I did now, you can see that now insert match field is now active. It is now active because the table is known to this document. So the case is still blinking there after dear. And I know that is the place where I have to see the name of the recipient. So I will go and click insert match field where it's written insert match field. Now there you see three things that are coming from the table that we created before we opened this document. Customer name, customer surname, amount. So I will take customer name. Customer name comes there as a match field. Open a space bar. Now I'm going to insert a customer surname. Customer say name comes there also as a match field. And then now I go to please pay your amount off. I know there must be money. I must see money there. So I will go after the word off. I've put the Kesa there. Remember you put the Kesa before you insert a match field. When you go to insert match field, you make sure the Kesa is in the correct place. So I go to insert match field. I will choose amount after choosing amount now my letter reads like dear customer name customer name. please pay your amount of amount when a document is like this this document we call it a primary document it is your evidence that you were working on a mail merge function to create mail merge or a mailing document so this is your evidence you have to keep it or save it as it is now how do i preview the results or to show the real names of the people who will receive the letter you see we are still under the tab mailings up there and now we see a, a button that says or a tool that says preview results there if I click it once, I'm going to click it now, you will see how my letter will look like. I just clicked it, you see now my letter says, Dear John Smith, please pay your amount of 2500 Now I have to see all the other letters of all the other three people with their own dear names and their own amount of amounts, they were the amounts that they are owing from the data, data source. So I'm going to scroll down to see if I have page two. Now you can see my page two is not yet appearing. My page two is not yet appearing because I still have to go to the last step where I have to finish this mail match to produce all the three letters. And that is the tool that you see there that says finish and match. I'm going to click it now. After clicking it, I go to edit individual documents. The screen that comes, you just make sure that all is selected as it is now. And then you click OK.
Now, after clicking OK, I still see my first letter, Dear John Smith. Please pay your amount of 2500 When I scroll down to page 2, my page 2 comes. My page 2 comes and it says, Dear Steve Johnson, please pay your amount of 3000 Then I scroll down to page 3. Now my page 3 comes, it says, Dear jo Joseph Molebo, please pay your amount of 5000 So you can see that I've typed that letter only once. What I've been doing is just to insert match fields and then finish and merge after I preview the results and all my letters are there. This one after finishing and merge will be your printout number 3. The first printout is the table that you created and you saved. The second printout is going to be the primary document that was written like Dear customer name, customer say name. Please pay your amount of amount. That document is going to be your printout number two. This one where you see the real names is going to be your printout number three. Every time when you do mail match or mailing document, you should produce three printouts regardless of what you are creating a mail match for whether you are creating it for a notice or you are inv inviting someone for something but you need to have three different types of printouts as your documents thank you very much please subscribe to this channel for more videos and for more tutorials that are going to come see you on the next tutorial